I had an interest um, in vision therapy in school once going through all the courses. Um, I had a feeling there was more to know than what we were being taught. Discovering kids in pediatrics, I kind of opened my eyes to doing vision therapy. At my residency, I again do one-on-one -on -one vision therapy, which I absolutely love. It's the best part of my day. Seeing all the gratitude that we get afterwards. Um, so I had a patient that I worked with was a acquired brain injury patient um, in college. This eight-year-old patient who was probably one of the smartest kid I know. I remember I was working with this child who was struggling in school. He was behind in reading. Nine-year-old constant right ET and his goal at the beginning of therapy was to just be able to catch a ball so he wasn't embarrassed at school anymore. Um, after her third concussion, she just could no longer read or write or study for long periods of time. So she came in kind of um, shut off and wasn't, didn't have a very optimistic outlook on therapy. After a few months of therapy, when him and his mom came back and said that the PE teacher had asked them what they were doing because his performance had changed so much. Um, and the first time she saw 3D, watching a 3D movie, she like scooted back in her chair and she was, whoa. He was no longer seeing double vision and his reading speed was just fast, fast and... I just sat there watching her because it was just so amazing for her to finally get it. That was the moment where I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I like changed this person's life and it was just such a humbling experience. Seeing not only the improvement in her life, but also her entire family's life, I was hooked. There was no going back. I knew that vision therapy was definitely going to be what I was going to do. Uh, it really makes me uh, really value what I do every day and it really uh, shows me that this is something that you know, I'm not going to get tired of. First of all, I knew I wanted to go into private practice, so I wanted that edge before I really started my career after residency. And I knew that I wanted to do the VT myself. I wanted to know the ins and outs of everything. That way later on I'd be able to train other therapists in the future. I did feel like school gave me so many great tools to be able to do the vision therapy I needed to do, but I never actually got the concept of how do you actually take this and then integrate it into a practice. How to communicate with the parents, especially during consultations, little nuances of how to explain um, their child's condition and things that we can do to improve their outcome. To see how you could actually make vision therapy profitable, successful, and then give you that kind of advantage of how to do it in that private practice setting. Try to get an externship rotation at a site that offers it, um, because once you're there, you'll know for sure if that's something that you want to do. If you're interested in pursuing vision therapy, without a doubt, don't hesitate to pursue a one-year residency program. Absolutely talk to as many current private practice optometrists as you can that do vision therapy. Take a look at the Vision Help website, see what those doctors, where they are, um, see if you can get in contact with them, go to COVD. All of the doctors there are so welcoming and if you have any questions about residency or anything like that, um, they're always there to help. There are so many giants in what we do that are so willing to share their knowledge. Take a hold of that, ask all the questions. I know a lot of students are nervous about getting out there and working and paying off your student loans, but honestly, it was such an invaluable experience. The amount of knowledge and skills and um, mentors that are still like family to me, it, I, you cannot put a price on that. Having that experience is huge. Follow your passion, move forward with this, that you, you will not regret it, I promise.